Let me explain you the SAS syntax which has been able to achieve the objective that I just explained. For that, these are the name of the data sets which I am taking as a string variable in these set names and I am creating a SAS data sets by data names. Let me run it. So it will create a data set by name data names which will have five distinct values. These are the five distinct five values. If you look at here heart and cards are purposefully getting repeated. The idea was that I should be able to show you that how it selects the distinct value. For that this is syntax proc SQL distinct. You do this it will select those distinct values and it will show you three results. Why? Because two of them were getting repeated. If you look at heart and cards were getting repeated. So actually these are the three distinct data sets. Now let me show you how I am taking that into a macro. So what I am done here, I am taking these distinct value into a data nm macro. This will create a very long macro which will have values separated by space because I have put separated by space. Let me show the execution of that step by step so that you can understand how things are operating. So let me run it, pass the macro and in this macro I am going to pass, I am going to do symbol gen and m logic. Let's see how it is executing. So look at the first thing, we'll do step by step. So first what it is doing, it is decoding as data names macro has value. So look at it has created this long list which is separated by space. Now the next task is that how do you read out this first then this second because these are the different name of the data sets. And this I am going to demonstrate through the use of scan function. So what I have done here, I have used scan function and what a scan function does, it is taking the variable, it is taking you know first. So first time when it finds the space, what is that value? And this is the value that it has to find. So if you look at, it has got three part of the syntax. First is the name of the macro variable. Second is that which character do you want, first character, second character and space is the delimiter, what it should find. So when I'm running this, you know what it is doing, it is giving me first text before space. So if you look at in the log, it has given me SAS help, right? If you look at here it finds the space and first character before is first text before space is this. Then what I have done here and look at how I am I'm changing this i. So what I've done, I did percentage let i and eval i plus 1. So i is here 1, so it will put here 1, 1 plus 1 because I'm using eval, so it will evaluate this, it will become 2 and that's why here i is 2. So that will give me second text after the space. Just ignore this, you know, typo, that's okay. The So it is giving me second text second space that it is finding and if you look at second space is here this was the first space so this time it is giving me this particular text so look at second text is this sas help dot cards so that's how it is operating i did it for third also and the fourth time when you do fourth time it is interesting because you know here if you look at there are only three values one two and three. So fourth time actually it will give you a null character. Look at, you know, this is third time I'm giving and when I'm making it, you know, three plus one, which is four, what value I'm getting? I should get a null value. So when I'm doing the fourth text after the space is when I'm putting, it says resolve to and you don't see anything here. Be why? Because it's a null character. Everywhere if you see, it has given something, but here it has not given anything. So there is one way that, you know, I can keep doing that, but that way you never know because at times you don't know how many spaces are there. So why not to learn a syntax by which we can do it till the time it finds the null. And let me show you the syntax of that. So how I'm go what I'm going to do, I'm going to put that in the comment section and I'm going to do the same through do while syntax. So 
so look at what i am doing now i am saying do until it finds you know space here and look at this time i have left i equal to 1 so first time i will be 1 and here inside i am increasing i to i plus 1 i am checking the moment it finds a null character it will come out of this loop so that way you don't need to go character 1 character 2 character 3 it will just find or in its own and that's what i am doing here ith text is i am putting every time and look at how i found the upper case for upper case this is the syntax up case it just puts everything in the upper case so it will put the name of the data set as upper case also i am trying to show some of the system macro make a note you didn't define sys date sys day or sys time but when you will run it it will capture all these things also what you need to understand percentage put is also like a system macro you didn't define it but it is it just puts directly into the system here it is getting executed even though you have not defined and look at every time you are putting dot to terminate it but this time i have not put it it is still it will get terminated because there is a space character so the moment it finds either dot or a space it starts resolution however as a practice i will always suggest you to put dot whenever you want to resolve a sas macro then i am doing proc contents that's pretty simple the moment i can find which is the first data set i can just do the proc contents and here i am finding the ninth and tenth character by using sub str command if you look at sas help is seven character dot is eighth character so nine and ten will should give he for heart ca for cars and ai for air and the the syntax for doing that is sub str which is the string which character you want so right now let's say you know sorry which character is nine fr from ninth i want and how many characters i want two characters and that's what it is going to put so let me show you that how the results looks like this time once again when i run it So this time I'm directly using the do while syntax. So I'm running it till here. Now let me show you how it is getting executed. So this time it will execute the do while loop. So look at the contents procedure for this. It produced the contents. It also produced day sorry date day and time look at it is not showing my computer time it is actually showing the server time and here it has put the ninth and tenth character which is ai for the air data set right because this is the sas dot sas help dot air so this is the ninth and tenth character so it did for all the three data sets and if you look at it is just you know this time it is using the concept of it is using the concept of do until so it is repeating three times and in the fourth step it comes out so that's how i was able to achieve everything that i am talking through the use of scan function upcase function a sub str function and all, th all those things and able to get the result the way i wanted